Dude, even in video games, Detroit... Well, no, Detroit's winning. Incredible. That's CGI. Mm. <laughs> That's not real. <laughs> what it, what I don't is, know why I'm doing on this thing. You got Barry, dude. Come on. Well, you got Barry Sanders? Dude, this is 23 blitz, yard, makes sense. This is a freaking... This is a, hey. Stuff like this, why McMeg has not been done. Anyway, let's go talk about that. It's on the far end of the shop here. Just a quick 10 minute walk. Because finally, McMega is done. This poor thing has been sitting stagnant for a long time at this point. I mean, the last time it was out was when it got buried in the pond. Yeah. And uh, transmission just got completely torched. Quick flashback to that. There's no way stuff doesn't break. <laughs> it's definitely breaking. the trans ouch tough break yeah so we had the super tall gearing and it stuck it in some sticky stuff a little bit too much throttle right things happen what are you gonna do the good news is she's rebuilt Our yay went through the transmission got it all dialed in she's back in the truck and uh it's ready to rip overall we've done nothing else other than fix the transmission <laughs> matt put some fresh gas in it we thanks charged buddy. the battery uh we you want to nitro up the shocks wash it you know, I don't think so. I don't want to make the drive shaft angle much worse, honestly. No, okay. I think that's about right. <laughs> I think they look pretty good where they're at. Okay. I wasn't sure so, what the deal was with this. You know. <laughs> What's the deal with that? I don't Not know. Sure. <laughs> Robots, dude. <laughs> well, hey, sure it's it's amazing. Like Nick, you know all the details about everything that we do because you're so involved. Tell the people when we're going to pick the winner for the giveaway. Probably in the next couple days. Not even true. Next week, <laughs> you guys will know. Well, I was saying that, plus next week, so it's got to be next week. <laughs> yeah, so there's some data collection that happens. All the data goes to our sweepstakes company. They pick the winner. As soon as they pick the winner, we'll make contact. We'll let you guys know. So just a huge thank you to everybody that supported uh, that sweepstakes and bought all that merch. Really appreciate you guys out there killing it and uh, super excited to see who wins. Are they gonna pick the truck with the trailer, with the X3? Are they gonna take a hundred grand? I don't know. I don't know, we're gonna be broke either way. It doesn't matter, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> hey, you wanna pick uh, a UDR winner right now while we're here? Yeah, let's do that 100%. Should all right, load up the list of names. Yeah, you can make up a name. Brian Dennehy, dude. <laughs> if, there's Is there a, a, <laughs> if there's a Brian Dennehy. That would be nuts. All right, we'll, we'll just, we'll check back in a second. <laughs> Dude, hello, Turbo. <laughs> Are you awake? <laughs> it's in there anyway. So, uh, okay, there's no Brian Dennehy, but, but there is this. a Brian. It's a D E, right? Yeah, two E's and an N. Brian Dean, this is you, bud. Pretty close, dude. Boom, got him. Dude, Pretty UDR close. winner, Brian Dean. Almost Brian Dennehy. <laughs> <laughs> you want to call him right now? Dude, we could. Yeah, let's call him we up. Could. Call what time him up. Is it in Arizona? Three, Three hours prior. We're good. All right, we're gonna call you Brian Dean right now, live, dude. Would you be pissed if someone called you to tell you you won and it wasn't? Oh. Brian Dean, oh, dude. Brian Dean. Should we just revoke him? I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's okay. Dang it, we tried. We'll get in contact. We'll get him a UDR. We got more UDRs to give away. So. Yeah, that's just, yeah, that's one. one of five. Yeah, that's so pretty cool. Next video, you see another one. Wow, that's a lot of UDRs. So what are we doing? We're gonna take this out to the field where it lives. You can't break it this time. Please. On I purpose, at least. I will not break it this time on purpose. Okay, so if something happens with the transmission, just don't get all freaking wound up, dude. <laughs> yeah, trans is gone, bud. We got a dozer. We got trucks. We can right. tow you out. Engines going. Tires aren't going. Stop. <laughs> Call dude, it. there's no holes that are the size of the freaking Manhattan Tower, dude. This is good. <laughs> We're good. Manhattan Tower. <laughs> What's going on up here, Rick? Anything new, special? I don't know, Matt open hood. I don't know if he was uh, had a dream of having a running LS powered turbo truck or what's going <laughs> on. But, yeah, seriously. Uh, I was just uh, gonna check the oil and you know, maybe let you show the people our work under there. Yeah, it's been a long time. Push it over, Frank. <laughs> All right, so yeah, this is your classic 2500 a regular cab long bed with a 6.0. Gas. Uh, gas, 6.0 gas. And it's got a giant VS racing. What is that, a 78, 75? Oil. Big dog, and it's on uh, 93. We're running on 110. Got a blow off valve, no intercooler. Who really needs it? Uh, exhaust comes out over here. Canon sucks in right there. What else is there to say? Uh, it's got Livernoy heads and cam on it. Oh, yeah, and Holly, too. Yeah, Holly Terminator X. Good stuff. It's, runs good, sounds good. It's actually 
I mean, I'll say it's fast. <laughs> For a mega truck, it's fast. <laughs> we should, we, yeah, we should, we should see how fast it is, actually. Because yeah. it does seem fast. Like, the thing rips. Let's call it Frankenstein right now. Oh, yeah. Wow. It's oh. Stock X3, okay. That's a good, what do you mean? That's, <coughs> That's a, a great race. baseline. It's a it monster is, truck, actually. dude. You got this. All right. All right. <laughs> Let's do the maintenance to get the sucker out. Story of the Certified monster truck driver. Dude. Does Carl teach that class, too? Because we saw how that worked out with the... Anyway. Yeah, you have a certificate for this? Yeah, dude. Look at that last video. I take that very seriously that you would fake that. Can you shut the door? Can you shut your head? <laughs> Where's the keys? <laughs> Where is the keys, man? Where's the keys? You didn't bring the keys? You're driving the truck. You got to have the keys. Gotta let the glow plugs warm up. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Wow. Well, yet again, you and I are in this truck uh, I don't know about to do questionable things. This we haven't learned. This looks ominous. This looks very ominous. Oh boy. To the floor. Let off the brake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. You see that sucker move? <laughs> wow. Why don't we just do that one more time here in our uh, drag strip? Oh, my gosh. Sounds like a monster truck too. Yeah, it's pretty cool for a stock. It's basically a stock 6 -0. Right. I mean, I mean, heads calm, but stock lower end, stock sharp block. Pretty neat. Stock ring gap too. Oh dang. <laughs> <laughs> this cool air is really good for it. I think it's only eight or nine pounds of boost. Look at these ruts here. broken already broken already killed it unbelievable dude unreal is there oil last time mike reed was out here there's some diesel is there fire yeah you already broke it Oh, no. Dang, Gosh, dang it. 
<laughs> that took seconds. <laughs> what the what heck, happened? dude? That knuckle broke again. No, this is a different uh, different failure. This is the part that we repaired before. So these oh. are the bolts that hold the spindle to the knuckle. It looks like... Like the axle housing? Mm, we probably had a wheel bearing failure, would be <sighs> my guess, which then just spun the nut off. So, <sighs> you know, the hump has just come off the spindle. <sighs> I don't know a ton about these axles, but it's either an axle nut failure or a wheel bearing failure that spun everything apart. Yeah, what a booger. Mega truck life. I'll tell you what, looked awesome. She, it is fast, dude. It yeah. is fast. It is exhilarating how quickly you're going in something so big, dude. This is sort of appropriate though, because the point was to rip it around a little bit, make sure everything's good before we tear it apart to rebuild and improve the axles. <laughs> Thank goodness so we didn't jump away. <laughs> in a weird way, this makes sense. <laughs> Dang it, Keen Swank, Bid City Trailers, Robbie Fuel, expert dealer was coming here today. I told yeah. him we'd give him a ride. Dang it. it ain't looking like that's happening. Sucker's dead. I mean, we can see if it can be put back together, but I would guess there's some damage. It's a Probably lot of weight. Spindle is cooked, oh, would be my yeah. guess. Yeah, there's some rollers missing in that bearing. So. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. I spun it. You can see the one right there. Oh, yeah. She's oh. missing. That, looks, that one looks like Doug's hat. Oh, wait. Sorry. <laughs> this is what happens when you buy a mega mud truck. And then you don't service things. You don't grease the axles. You don't grease the wheel bearings. You don't check the fluids. You just rip it until it breaks. Then it rips itself. That's safety for you right there. What did Carl teach you about wearing a helmet during that? I've never got that in my class, but that, he's an advanced class. Yeah, yeah, he did take the extra class. So <laughs> we're gonna try to pick it up just to see. Keep it going up, Frank. Oh, that, oh, that's enough, we're good. Oh, the wheel's just off. It looks unhappy. I don't know if we have two bearings though. That one's super unhappy. Oh yeah, look at the cage. Yeah. He is fully, I mean, some of that I'm sure happened when it came apart, but just super dry. Yeah. Not good. A few moments later. Moments after the great dislodge of the tire. We're looking to see what's inside. Maybe. Oh, yep. Classic case of the cuckoo, dude. <sighs> Yuck. Smells over here. Huh, cereal. I really don't know what I'm doing, yeah. but... Uh, just keep going. This Big is up. very interesting. It's just splines in there. And... Wow. This is deemed the cuckoo zone, dude, because it smells like cuckoo, dude. Cuckoo! <laughs> Frank used uh, all sliver the power, uh, oh, and the, the sliver zone. Used 325,000 pound foot of torque to get that off of there. Ooh, oh, oh no, oh, Frank. That's pretty normal. That's pretty normal, I was just gonna say that. Again, I don't know much, but it seems normal. <laughs> Shaft's gotta move. Shaft's gotta move, dude. Been... Just don't want that tire to come off. I know that feeling. Two times, two times. Ugh. Beautiful. Um, ways to go. New races. Unfortunately, my tool Darn doesn't it. quite fit. Not meant for rock wheels. <laughs> Just put an old race on it, pound it into that. Oh, that'd probably work. Well, look at that, Mr. Duggar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, you have the power of the side by side block beanie. Let's go. What could go wrong here? There you go. There you go. What do you think about this, Frank? Well, I wonder if I can stand on the back of the lift truck because before it wouldn't lift it. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Need to get in frame. Anyway, she's fixed. Wheel hasn't fallen off yet. We're good. You know how I know this is going to be a successful trip? Because we just had rallies? Yeah, we just had so much rallies. So it's either going to be a really good time or there's going to be sh sprayed everywhere. You know, <laughs> where from? <laughs> Who knows? But Oh boy. Oh boy. Ah, it's going to hold up or what? It's going to hold. All right, all right. What's that thing there? I'm just asking. 
taking one of them. Nick, you've been here before. Last time you took that turn, it broke. So Please. Far, so good. Please. Please. You stepped the heck out of it. Oh! Uh, there goes the transmission. Okay, Richard. out of it? <laughs> Does it not go? Give it a little gas. <laughs> not good. Not good. I don't know what to say at this point. I'm committed to this truck because I love it, but gosh dang it. coming out of the diff and causing it to drag. It's against the yeah. bracket right now. Wow. Okay, well at least it wasn't the transmission. When you, when you took off, like it slipped out of gear. Oh, yeah. when you took off, there was a large puff of white stuff under the truck. That's yeah, probably the, from the brakes. <laughs> I mean, there's... Wow, it moves a ton. Wow. Oh, the... oh yeah, it's just cooked. That bearing is bad too. That bearing What's... Bad. No. Got one of them? Dang it. Oh yeah, it's cooked. Oh yeah, cooked. I see it now. Yeah, that bearing in that snow is just gone. <laughs> Son of a gun, you know? It just can't win with this thing. is moving around in there in ways so, it should not be moving. Caliper just moved about a solid two inches. Yeah, 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 yeah. Son of a gun. Another day, another bearing, I guess. Another day, another mega truck problem. Dang it. Dude, these things, dude, they're like boats. They're money pit junk. <laughs> <laughs> but also the most fun ever. You know, good thing we were about to tear it apart and do a bunch of work on the axles. <laughs> if there was ever a sign, don't mess around. I said, hey, pay attention to your axles. <laughs> this is the sign. Repair them, upgrade yep. them, fix them. This is it. Two of them. Yeah. Same video, same day. Yeah. Uh, what within do you mean? hours. Yeah, within hours. Well, a good thing about that is we got a bunch of cool stuff from Red Barn Customs. We got some trusses that have been welded up. Yep. We got a bunch of knuckle support stuff. Maybe we could show it off real quick. Yeah. Right. It's over there at the, at the bench, right? Uh, I couldn't tell you where it is right now after the move, honestly. Well, this is the surplus building. You've been doing good work in here, though. Matt? So chipping away at it. Slowly getting organized. Chipping away, chipping away. There's a lot of cool stuff buried in here. Yeah, there really is. Somewhere. Somewhere. Some pieces. Okay, so yeah. We got a bunch of, we got a bunch of stuff we've been collecting, right? Because we know we needed to go into the axles of this thing for a while. We needed to beef them up. We've broken them multiple times. So Matt's got a new brake kit, so we're adding front brakes to it. So we'll have all new 
front good. and rear brakes on this thing. We got a bunch of new axle seals and, you know, nuts Ooh, seals, yeah. all, all sorts of stuff here already. I wish you could find those trusses. They're so to cool. Uh, it up. Trusses are somewhere. Well, our good friends at Adams uh, sold us that stuff. I don't know if it was a discount or not, but I think there was, was it discounted a... from Adams? Good people over there at Adams Polishes. Anyway, so we got uh, the wash bay looking good. We got our giraffe power tools, freaking washer on the wall. We got new LEDs above. Mm -hmm. Just did those yesterday. Got about 104 more to go wow, nice. in that building. So anyway, looks good. And Frank's freaking rope tape. Yeah, this is pro job. Yeah, the water dam. Water dam, dude. It's so good. Frank the beaver, dude. <laughs> well, test it, I tested it. I washed that rug. It didn't go over there. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Nuts. Solid. Let's go look at these trusses. Hey, we found them. Yeah. We knew. We've had these things for a while and just haven't gotten to this project, but this is an axle trucks kit. So we got a number of these and they came all in pieces and Mike's welded them up already. And now the next step is going to be completely strip these axles, rebuild them, and then weld this stuff on. So these are going to come in, brace our axles up. Wait, they go on the side like that? Make them, yeah, make them nice and stiff. Nice. And uh, yeah, toughen them up. So in theory, we can just go a little harder with this thing. There's other limitations, yeah, but we're going to start picking away at them. We're going to truss them up, we're going to truss up the knuckles. We've got some other stuff we're gonna do in the knuckles and make it so this thing can get a little little bit of hang time. Yeah, and we also got a roll cage for yeah, it. Yeah, and a roll cage. So the sale monster truck, didn't he use two and a half ton rock wheels for a long time before we started getting crazy? Yeah, I know I don't know when he switched. I know he's on something, I think they're mirrors now. But you know, these okay are never gonna be the biggest jump axle setup in the world. The shocks we got aren't really set up for gigantic jumps, but we could do some stuff, so she can do some stuff. Yeah, I like that. It's time. Dig in. Get this sucker a little bit more dialed. Do a bunch of maintenance. And just get it to the point where we can go out and rip it. Yep. So, uh, yeah. Bummer of a day. But I hope you guys enjoyed McMega being back. Anyways, at least it's not, you know, as broken as it's been previously. Good point. Um, and not going to be broken for as long. Like, we're going to tuck this in the corner. We're going to start tearing it apart. We're going to fix it. And we're going get to her, get her dialed. So, thank you guys, as always, for everything you do. Appreciate you big time. Thank you again for all the support on our last uh, merch drop. And uh, super excited to give away some more UDRs and uh, give away the grand prize. That's coming. About a week. Not too much longer. Not too much longer. So, yeah, if you're subscribing, if you're watching these videos, or donating on Patreon, or buying that merchandise, or the parts, the parts site, or buying through the Rocky Mountain link, just thank you guys. As always, super excited. Finally getting to dig into some long-term projects that we just haven't been able to get to in the past because we haven't had the space, we haven't had the time, and now we're getting those things. Perfect. See you. See you. Bye. See you guys. See you around. Bye. <laughs> I'm getting a haircut tonight, so. <laughs> uh, you, gotta, you gotta lube them up, dude. <laughs>